Hey guys, welcome back. I am at my parents' house to clean and organize the kitchen. I am mainly focusing on the pantry and sweeping and mopping the floors. As you can see, it's very dirty. So today I'm going to help out and clean and organize the kitchen for my parents. It was just a couple of weeks ago that I actually came over and helped declutter the pantry because it was very bad and unfortunately I did not film that for you guys. I just completely did not think about filming it, which I should have. So we are mainly organizing and cleaning today in this pantry and maybe find some things that we can toss out as well, but it's probably not going to be too much. The only thing that I'm using today to clean is a Pare Swedish dishcloths. So if you're not familiar with dishcloths, basically they are a very eco-friendly alternative to paper towels. These basically work the same way. They're very absorbent and will help you clean any space in your home. So today I'm going to use this to clean the pantry. As you can see, they come in different designs and patterns, which is really nice. And this pack came with several, so I know these are going to last me a long time. They're going to save me so many paper towels because I'm going to be using these instead. I'm going to start with the top shelf and take everything out and set it on the kitchen counter. I'm going to wipe the shelf down with my dishcloth and then see if there's anything that I can toss out that is expired or something that they just don't use anymore. I found a little baby daddy long leg hanging in there as well as a couple of moths that you can see down there so definitely needs to be wiped down and just make sure that there's no other bugs in there. Whenever doing any kind of cleaning project I like to have a trash bag handy so I can toss in things that I need to throw out or are expired. The Swedish dishcloth is way more absorbent than a regular sponge and it's also a great replacement for paper towels. So in overall, you're going to save hundreds of dollars by using dishcloths like this instead of being wasteful with paper towels. They are reusable and durable, fast drying and easy to maintain. They have no smell afterwards. And in order to clean them, you can just throw them into your dishwasher and just use them several times. So you're really saving a ton of money and not wasting money on sponges or paper towels. They are great to use to clean up any messes or spills and just to overall wipe things down just like how I am using them in this video for cleaning the pantry. Epare has several of designs to choose from, so I'm sure you'll find something that fits your style. And if you're interested in trying these out for yourself, I will leave a link down below. Now we're on the second shelf and I took most of the things out. I did not take this other stuff out that was sitting there in the back. I had just organized that last time I was here. So I'm mainly just going to wipe things down because I found 
some crumbs and stickiness on there so I'm using my cloth to wipe that down. All the cleaning I'm doing made me a little bit hungry so I'm snacking on some Ritz crackers that were in there so don't tell my family that I'm eating their food. <laughs> The dishcloth was getting a little bit dry so I went ahead and rinsed it a little bit just to get it more wet and use it to wipe down some of the items in the pantry that were a little bit dusty so I'm using that here right now. The way that I'm organizing things are by like items so on the left side of this shelf I'm putting all the baby food right next to each other. And then from there, just kind of looking at the overall picture and seeing what kind of other items are in the pantry that I can group together so that they're all together and not scattered all over the place. The third shelf has a bunch of different random condiments and canned food, hot sauces, just things like that are in this shelf. So there is quite a lot of stuff in there, but when I went through it last time I did declutter a few things but they are using all of these and I'm going to keep everything just taking things out so I can give the shelf a little nice clean down. One tip that I have if you want to reduce the clutter in your pantry is to use things up before you buy another item. So here's an example where we have these sauces one is almost empty but not quite and then they bought another one that they've been using instead and the other one is just sitting there taking up space and not being used so when i put them back in the pantry i'm going to make sure that the one that's almost empty is going to be in the front so that they can grab that first and then put the other one behind it so if this is something that you do as well just try to be more mindful or before you go grocery shopping just take inventory of what you already have so that you don't purchase duplicate items. Now we're down to the very bottom and I took everything out just to see what was in there even though I already kind of had an idea from last time I was in there. So mainly down there are things that are just least grabbed I guess. Um, so there's some vegetables that are in this basket that I'm putting back in there, um, some potatoes that I put in another basket, and just random things that I'm finding different homes for since they don't belong in the bottom shelf. I have my handy dandy dishcloth with me so I am noticing that some things in there again just need to be wiped down so I'm using my dishcloth for that. Also a tip is to write the expiration date on an item if possible. So it's already written on these tortillas on the packaging but it's kind of hard to see so I grabbed a sharpie and wrote it on there instead so it's easier to see. So here's the pantry after I finished. It looks a lot better, a little bit more organized. Like items are together, like the breads, the baby food, tortillas, baking stuff is in the basket back there, other miscellaneous stuff are together, and it just looks a lot better overall. 
things are easier to grab and see and I hope that my parents can use this pantry more effectively than before. Some of the items that are being thrown out are expired hot sauce, some cocoa, an empty peanut butter jar, then we have some packaging, some candy, and there's some more in the bag that you saw me put in there as I was going through all the items. So just really quickly, here's kind of what's in there. Some expired bread and other random pantry items. So that's going to go in there and I'm going to throw that out. Also going out is this box of hot cocoa. It actually expired in 2018, so I'm not sure how that's still sitting in there, but we have a couple of other items. Um, this can of tuna is not expired, but they're not going to eat it, so I'm going to donate that. And here is the mess after cleaning out the pantry. So in addition to that, we have some very dirty floors. I'm going to sweep now and then mop the floors. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet for weekly videos on simple living and decluttering. Also let me know below if you've ever tried out Swedish dishcloths before. I would love to know. As always, thank you for watching and continuing to support my channel. I hope to see you guys in the next video.